Gentleman from Florida. Speaker, I yield two minutes to, the, to my friend from California, Mr. Nunes. Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I, I thank my friend uh, from Florida. I just want to make sure that we set the record straight on the salmon fishing issue. A lot of people are probably watching out there and wondering, well, are these salmon fishermen really out of work? Uh, the truth is that the salmon fishermen can still fish, they just can't fish for salmon. We haven't been fishing for the last couple of years. My husband fishes salmon, and there's been no salmon fishing. The salmon fishermen can still fish, they just can't fish for salmon. You've, you take the first year, and there's no fishing. Well, people might be living on their savings that first year, and, and you know, they're kind of going from here and going down a little bit, you know, and hoping they can hold on. Well, then you go into year two, you're not starting up here at the top again, you're starting from this lower level and you're continuing to go. Well, each time you do, you lose somebody. Normally from May until September, he'd be fishing salmon. Instead, he's been taking up room in my living room. The, the economic impact on me personally is that uh, it's uh, limited my personal income uh, the last two years to about zero when it comes to salmon fishing. Not only are we not allowing the salmon, salmon fishermen to fish, we are also paying them not to fish. We, we just want to go fishing. Uh, we want the resource to be healthy. Several hundred million dollars we've given the salmon fishermen so that they will not fish for salmon. We were not paid to not fish. It was because we were unable to fish because the fish had been destroyed by the federal government. We haven't landed a fish across this dock in two years. In the good years, I put a half a million pounds across this dock. And now I haven't put a pound, not a pound. There's no correlation between these pumps that have run for 50 years and salmon fishermen not fishing, except for this. The government says, salmon fishermen, you can't fish for salmon. The government also says, keep the pump shut off so the people in the San Joaquin Valley don't have any water and can't grow any crops to provide Americans food. They've been spreading misinformation and lying through their teeth about all this uh, uh, land being idled and stuff. They said, you know, we, 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 the sky's going to fall. You know, if we're going to ruin agriculture. Well, Fresno County is still number one. And if they, and, and in dollars, if they dried up half of this valley, the prices would double and they'd still have the same amount of money as far as uh, in, uh, income. But what everybody forgets in all of this is water is cash. And the water in the public treasury, which is the stored river water of California, belongs to the people of California. Because of a law that was passed in 1992, agribusinessmen are free to take their federal irrigation water and resell that water on the open market in California. So you can buy water from the federal government for $70 an acre foot, and you can sell it for $350, $400 an acre foot to uh, anyone who's willing to pay that price. Water has become the new cash crop. We know just about every fisherman, commercial fisherman who lives in town here. We bill them for the slips. We see the difficulty they're having paying their bills. The government, us, this body, and others told the fishermen that they cannot fish for salmon. Every other country in the world can fish for salmon. It doesn't make sense to throw away what salmon fishing can do for our economy so that we're buying it from other places. We're, we're taking the money away from our economy, putting it into the countries that have no controls or respect for the, the species. That is hypocritical to me. I don't understand how anyone can consider that reasonable. And now all of a sudden we're here and we're worried about salmon fishermen. Bogus. Absolutely bogus. Shameful on this body. I hear the question all the time, when am I going to go get a real job? And I've only been doing this for about 35 years. so. 
When someone asks me that, it's a very difficult, especially your wife, it's a difficult thing to answer. Some kind of balance has to be worked out. We can't afford to lose salmon fishing in our natural environment. They don't see any salmon in the store display case, but they see a lot of vegetables. They, they can't understand why there's plenty of one and none of the other. So this whole argument about the poor salmon fishermen is complete fiction. Everyone in the state of California has a right to these fish. Complete fiction. And has a right to the water. Complete fiction. There's enough water if we share it for both the crops down in the valley and the fish in the rivers, and for fishermen and farmers to work. And now all of a sudden we're here and we're worried about salmon fishermen. Bogus. 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 We need salmon water now.